Can't cut it, Reno. It's too blame bad. Well, you know what we all agreed. I've been with you a long time, Reno. Let me crawl off in that there brush. I'll heal. I'll meet up with you in Canada, like we agreed. No. Please, Reno! For the love in a jiffy, Miss Darrett.
Shane, one of them fellas has a gun belt just like yours. Figured yours was the only one like that. No. There was one other maid. I don't want any of that in here. Any of what? You're gonna have to pay for that, mister. You broke the bottle, mister. Don't you remember? Hey, Len, you seen it, didn't you? Yep, we all seen it. Ask Augie. Yeah, mister, kinda clumsy, aren't you? Go get him another bottle. The saloon is closed. Closed? We come 200 miles for a drink in this place, and it's closed. You trying to hurt our feelings, bright boy? I don't serve scum like you. <laughs> you owe us an apology, mister. Well, we'll just uh, take it out and trade. I said the bar was closed. I'm telling you, all of you, get out! You got it wrong, bright boy. You're the one that's getting out. And don't come back till I give you permission. You hear? What is this? Tell him, Reno. Look, I'm tired, so I'm only going to explain this once. Understand? We come a long way, we need a rest. The next two days, we want to be left alone. That's all we ask. Now, do you understand? Oh, sure, he understands. He's a bright boy, aren't you, pal? What you don't seem to understand is that I don't want you in my saloon. <laughs> well, that's what he don't understand, huh, Reno? It ain't your saloon, it's ours. And I just told you to get out of it. Oh, he gets very upset when people don't understand. You don't want him to get upset, bright boy. Believe me. <laughs> Will there be anything else, Miss Starrett? No, I... No, thank you. Shall I put it on your... Ben, I want you to ride out to Riker's place. Tell Roof I need his help. Bring some men. Sure thing, Mr. Grafton. Tell him to hurry. It's urgent. What's the matter, Mr. Grafton? I'd get out of here as fast as I can if I was you, Miss Starrett. Shane. Well, what have we here? A little lady. Well, 
Hello, hello. The easy land. She's got a farmer boy here who thinks he's pretty tough. I see. He don't look so tough, Judd. Well, I didn't say he was tough. I said he thinks he is. Uh, hey, Bright Boy, you got any nerve tonic? That's young. Can't you talk? Hey, Judd, here's one that can't talk. Leave her alone. You hear that, Len? Farmer boy here says leave her alone. I ain't gonna hurt her. Just looking at her. Ain't no harm in a man looking now, is there? Get your packages, Marion. Wait a minute, farmer boy. You leave here when we say you do. Not before. Get up. Shane? What are you doing here? You know? I thought you were long dead. But you sure ain't. <laughs> well, what's so funny? You. And you. You know who you've been hurrahing? A dead man. I know a lot of people wish you were right, Augie. It ain't likely. That's Shane. Sure enough, in the flesh. Shame. A living ghost. Get your men out of here, Reno. Anything you say? Get out. Not until I get a shot at that. Get out! Seven years, Shane. Our old uh, master, he's dead, you know that? Yeah, I know. Your woman? I work for her. You got a good man. He and I were uh, disciples, you might say. Yeah, that's what the wolf called us, his disciples. He was an old man, our teacher, and, well, he knew about, well, everything there was to know. He taught us as much as he could. I want you to move on, Reno. All right. In a couple of days. Tonight. Shane, be reasonable. We come 200 miles, we got more to travel. We got to rest. Our horses got to rest. Be reasonable, huh? Tonight. Look. I'll take care of those yahoos in there. No trouble. Just rest, a little to eat and drink. And we'll be moving on. All bills paid, all damage. That's fair enough, eh? You got money to pay? Plenty. Sam? Can you trust him, Shane? Yeah. Yeah, you got a good man. He fight for you. That's a compliment. To you. Remember, Shane? The day the wolf laughed? Yeah. I remember. We ain't kids anymore, are we, Shane? No. I ain't forgot. Till I see you, Shane. You sure you can trust him, Shane? 
Yeah. Come on, let's go home. man in Grafton's. Who is he? Somebody I knew a long time ago. He looks so strange. Was he a gunfighter? Yeah. We both learned from the same man, like he said. He was a strange old man. He's dead now. But he's one of those people that never dies in your thoughts. Expecting to see him. Tell me about him. The old man who taught you. You don't want to hear. Why? Was he that bad? Bad? No. He was strange. He knew things. You could look into his eyes and see all of time. Every man that had ever lived suffered and died. He was bitter and tough. He liked to think of himself as a wolf. He called us his cubs, Mino and me. Taught us everything. And he said that... That what? That one day we'd kill each other didn't learn from living. If we didn't understand, we'd destroy each other. And then he'd laugh. Is that why you're scared of him? Yeah. Sam, you got trouble? Roof. No trouble, Roof. What are you doing in my valley? Just traveling through. You got an objection? No. Not if you keep on traveling. And if I don't? I'll see that you do. Well, you act pretty tough for an old steer. Like I said, move on. All right, old man, now you hear me. I got a gun under this table and it's pointed right at your belly. If you're not out that door by the time I finish this drink, I won't disturb your breakfast. I don't want to see you back here for two days. After that, I'll be gone. This is my town. You can't put me out of my town anymore. Roof, no use getting yourself killed. Let him speak his piece. 
I like to see a man dig his grave with his mouth. There's room enough in this valley to bury all of you. You want to walk out of here with me, Sam? You can. I can't do that, Roof. You know it. We should have taken him while we had the chance. I know those old moss horns, they don't give a hang whether they die or not. You sent for him. I did. I give my word to Shane. But that wasn't good enough for you, huh? I give my word. You seem to need more. Here. Take what you need out of there. Two days, food, drink, and lodgings. I don't want your money. Take it. Augie, take our horses around back. Take out enough for a coffin for your bearded friend. You just invited him to a funeral. Take some ammo. Make sure the action's smooth. Your horse is saddled. Do you want me to pull the rest of the men off the herd? Oh, this'll do it. Meet me just outside of town after sunrise. I'm gonna get me some insurance. Insurance? Shane. It's a long story, Joey. Is he your friend? No. Stop asking so many questions, Joey. Somebody coming. You won't need that shotgun stare, at least we it's not around here. What do you want, Riker? I'm taking my men into Crossroads the first thing in the morning. I want you to ride along with us. What for? Sam Grafton's in trouble and I intend to help him. I want your gun along. It's as simple as that. Riker, best way you can help Sam Grafton, to stay away from that town for the next two days. I saw that bunch in there this afternoon. You don't need a compass to figure out which way they're going. You gotta put a stop to him now or the whole valley's in trouble. He ran you out, didn't he? Yeah, it figures. What are you talking about, Shane? About our neighbor, Tom. He went into Grafton spoiling for a fight. Instead, he got his pride hurt. Nobody pushes me around. Riker, you were lucky to get out of there alive. Now, if I were you, I'd leave it at that. Don't you care what happens to Sam Grafton? Yeah, I care. But if you go in there now, you won't be helping him. You'll be signing his death warrant. You sound awful sure. I know the man you met today. And I am sure. Well, I ain't. Riker, I don't much care what happens to you. 
But I do care about Sam and the people in this valley. Now I'm begging you. Stay away from that town. Stay away? From my own town? You just don't know me very well, Shane. And you don't know what you're dealing with. Why, Shane? You're scared, ain't you? Well, I ain't. Mighty bound and determined. Well, that's Riker. That was Riker. Tomorrow morning, you'll be dead. You, Shane? What are you doing here? Well, I come from Mr. Riker. Can I turn around? Slow. He's hurt bad. I figured he would be. Well, they caught us in a the crossfire. They cut us to pieces. Oh, it was rough. Shane, believe me. I ain't never seen nothing like it. He was a fool to try it. Well, he wants to see you. He said it was important. I ain't gonna beg you, Shane. But Mr. Riker's bad hurt. How bad? He was a tough old man. Otherwise, he'd be dead. All right. I'll saddle up.
caught one. It's enough. You never die, Riker. You might turn to stone like a petrified tree, but you'll never die. Uh, that's why I figure. Passed out. What did he want, Harv? I've got some killing to do. How many more of your friends are you willing to bury, Harv? As many as I have to, Shane. Now get out of here. Shane? I've got two men watching the town. So don't try to warn your friend. He doesn't need to be warned. Just left alone. Still out there? Yeah. I don't like this. It isn't going right. Think I like it any better? Will you pick the town? Because there ain't no law here. Oh, no. Just an old moss bank with a blowed up sense of his own importance. I took care of it, didn't I? Yeah. Now it's their turn. We ride out and they're going to be behind every rock and tree on the trail. Gonna cut us to bits before we get a mile. Shut up, let me think. Don't tell me to shut up. Augie, you're getting on my nerves. Well, you got us in this mess. I'm just saying what the rest of us are thinking. I picked you because you were good. The best I could find. We hit that train, didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah. We only lost two men. That's less than even you figured. That was luck. Blind luck, and we've run out the string, Reno. You take a look at them birds up on that ridge if you don't believe me. They got us trapped in here, and that's the fact of the matter. <laughs> I thought you were tough. Go on, you like to use that gun. Why don't you try it? Oh, I ain't gonna draw on you, Reno. Anybody else? We come this far with you, Reno. No use backing out now. Leaves you, Augie. I ain't got no chance alone. All right. We play this right, we get out of here. We got 50,000 reasons to think of a way. Barkeep! Give me a beer. Hey, bright boy. What? Where's the nearest ranch to here? About oh, five miles. Why? Augie, I got a job for you. What kind of a job? You're gonna get me a hostage.
there. You see? They're looking for you. Mrs. Starrett? Mrs. Starrett, over here! That sounds like Shirley Norman's voice. I bet she's got Katrina. Mrs. Starrett? Hello, Shirley! <laughs> Charlie, we're over here. Hey, there's Katrina, Mom. Joey, wait. What's the matter, Mom? I don't know. <laughs> Joey, you're to do exactly as I tell you. I want you to listen very carefully. Sure, Mom, but what's the matter? I think there's somebody out here. I want you to stay right here. No matter what happens, you don't move, you understand? But, Mom... Joey, our lives depend upon it. You don't move, no matter what happens, until it's over. Yes, ma'am. Then I want you to go and find Shane and tell him what's happened. What's eating you? We picked up just what you ordered. You fools. Well, Reno, so he's one man. Those two are our tickets out of here. Shut up. Let me think. It was your idea. 
I say we move now and we take them with us. No. Strange woman stays. We take the girl. I say she goes. Judd? Them nights on the trail get awfully cold, you know. I don't like being cold. I vote with them. All right. You just voted yourselves right into the end of the line. Well, I ain't scared, Reno. for you. Better get in the back room. Get these things off me. What's happening out there? Shane's here. Shane? We had no fight, you and me. Where is she? 
down there. She's all right. You should have kept your word, Reno. Things got out of hand. They all dead out there? Yeah. Well, he said it had come to this, didn't he? Yeah. He said a lot of things. A good gun should be clean and in the holster. A really good gun doesn't ever need to be drawn. You remember that, Reno? I remember. But it looks like we're right up against it, doesn't it? Just like he said. Because he said it. Doesn't mean it has to be. You're wrong, Shane. Your choice, Cub. Let's go home. They're worried about you. 